Hello everyone, welcome to CP's Passion. I just became a proud owner of a Raspberry Pi 4. A few days back, I was able to order it via a website, which is a funk24.net. So I just received that Raspberry Pi 4. It is in my hand. So this video is all about unpacking this Raspberry Pi 4. It's quite a big box, as you can see. Yeah, let's go and open it. So the first thing you can notice here is actually a beautiful uh, case for our Raspberry Pi 4. Let's just open it. Yeah, it has a nice uh, logo of Raspberry Pi. And we can open it in this way. And it has a USB-C power supply adapter. Let's open it. So the one thing which you can notice here is actually the length of this adapter is so long so that it will be very useful when your power source is away from your uh, Raspberry Pi. And now here comes the good part that is our Raspberry Pi 4. Let's open it. Here is our Raspberry Pi 4 and as you can see it, it has two micro HDMI port so that it will be very easy for you to connect to monitor here after. And here is your power supply. This is where we can actually insert our memory card. This Raspberry Pi 4 has BCM 2711BO system on chip and uh, Raspberry Pi is claiming that this Raspberry Pi device will be having impressive performance boost when it compares to the other Raspberry Pi and as I said it has a dual uh, display support micro HDMI so you should be able to connect your uh, two monitor with this Raspberry Pi. The Ethernet port has been relocated to the top right of the board as you can see and it offers a full speed network network connectivity with no bottlenecks. It has two USB 3.0 ports. The center one offers high speed connectivity for external devices including storage and accelerator hardware. And it has giga, gigabit ethernet here. This Raspberry Pi is coming in uh, three variants uh, with 1GB, 2GB and 4GB. So I would always recommend you to go for the 4GB version because with the 4GB version you can do a lot of amazing things. I really can't wait to develop something and show you with this particular device. It can actually work as a small uh, desktop for you. It has its own limitations so you should understand that and you cannot replace your uh, laptop or uh, desktop with this uh, Raspberry Pi. It has two USB 2 ports as well. The pricing of this Raspberry Pi device it starts at $35 uh, for the 1GB variants and uh, $45 for the 2GB and $55 for the 4GB Raspberry Pi 4 model B. The 4GB model will be sold very fast that is the reason I wasn't able to get it a few weeks back. I was waiting for the availability in almost all the websites but it wasn't available at all. So I had to wait for a few days or few weeks to order this amazing device. Raspberry Pi organization is claiming that this particular Raspberry Pi device is having a performance of 3x when it compares to the other variants or old versions. This Ethernet controller over here is providing a total of 4 Gbps of bandwidth. As you can see I have already connected a mouse keyboard and ethernet cable and everything to our raspberry pi 4 as we already configured the monitor we can just start our raspberry pi 4 and configure everything with the help of mouse and keyboard now we can also make sure that everything is connected or not so i'm gonna press something in my keyboard and let's see whether the pointer is moving yes keyboard is connected so and i can also drag something with my mouse and yeah the mouse pointer is dragging now so all good for now and this is what the welcome screen is uh, it is just saying welcome to the raspberry pi desktop so all we have to do is press next and i'm gonna select the country as india and language is english time zone is kolkata so I'll, I'll just uh, select this checkbox to use English language 
and use a US keyboard. So I'll select next now. So right now the Raspberry Pi 4 is just setting the location so we will have to wait for a few minutes. Now we can actually change the password. We'll select next again. As you might have already know that Raspberry Pi 4 has Wi-Fi inbuilt so it will search for some Wi-Fi. As we have already selected the Wi-Fi network which has to be connected we can type the password. Now it will try to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So it is asking for the update software. I'll click on next. So the, uh, the initial update didn't work. So it's saying that uh, error checking for updates. So seems like we will have to skip this step for now. So, so our Raspberry Pi is now set up and ready to go. All we have to do is to restart. Let's do that. So now it got restarted. Now we can actually click on some menu icons. So what are the capabilities that we can do with the Raspberry Pi 4? Now we have some graphics options, games. So the internet is working and uh, the websites are getting loaded. So this is our task manager. You can see that I'm just using only 163 MP of 3906 MP. That is 4 GB of RAM. And the CPU usage is just below 1% now. If you have any speakers, you can actually uh, connect that speakers here and uh, listen to the audio. The Raspberry Pi 4 support dual 4K monitor. So right now I have connected only one monitor. If you have a two HDMI, micro HDMI cable, you should be able to connect with two monitor. And now we can just play some HD videos in uh, Raspberry Pi. Let's see how it works. The monitor which I have connected is not a 4K monitor. I will also try to install uh, Microsoft Windows IoT Core operating system in this Raspberry Pi and see how that is working. So that is also in my bucket list. I think that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If yes, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in another video. Till then, signing off.